if we narrow down to the actual definition of a sales wolf, that hunger, but it's like an insatiable hunger. Like it's a, a constant hunger every single day, no matter what you got to eat the day before. And it's that continual progress. Like for me, I, you know, happiness, fulfillment, like it's all about progress. You know, I've recently become aware of the fact that I'm addicted to progress. And I really think that progress is where happiness and fulfillment ultimately come from. Progress is the key to happiness. It is. Progress in any way. It's, yep. uh, it's one step, it's one leap, it's a sprint. It's just any progress is required for someone to be fulfilled and happy. But that hunger is what gets you up in the morning to attack and create that progress. But knowing that, just like you said, getting a bonus, getting to the mountaintop, it's being excited to get to the mountaintop so that you can see what the other one looks like. That's right. And understand that the next one's gonna be taller, it's gonna be more treacherous, it's gonna be more difficult, but being the hunger of being able to not only see it, but literally that fire you up. That like, yeah, I'm glad I got here, but I'm even more glad that now I get to go there. Knowing that when you get there, it's, it's just a continual, it's the rest of your life. It's the reality that if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. I mean, that's just, it's just the truth. And so if the goal in life is to constantly be moving f forward, because I truly believe happiness is created through progress, that I don't know any other way to create and force progress other than having structure and boundaries. I still believe that I am natural, like my natural instinct is to be lazy. Like I think that naturally innate within me that I am lazy. And so I have to build structure around me and build structure throughout my days and schedule and time block to completely um, uh, eliminate the laziness um, from within. And, and I think that's the only way to do it is by scheduling things early, scheduling things back to back to back to where you literally have just enough time to finish that meeting and get to the next one. Um, in order to make that happen. Being lazy forces you to live in a structured environment that develops habits and that ultimately develops disciplines that will ultimately lead to your success. You know, just simply having a personal trainer and knowing that they're gonna be there at 4.30 a.m. That's why I would wake up at four to get down there. Like, just because I know there's someone there waiting for me. You know, just little things like that. Um, you know, having an accountability partner that'll really, really hold you to the things that you say you're going to do. Um, not wanting to let that person down. It doesn't have to be some gigantic structure like 75 hard. It can just be one or two things that you are promising yourself that you're going to do every day, but that you have someone or something that's going to call it out if it's not done.